How's it going? Today we are changing the oil on a 2014 and up Jeep Cherokee and this is genuinely the way we wish that all vehicles actually let you change oil on. It's incredible. Let's get rolling. So it's time to set the uh, change the oil and filter because it's you know warning us in the dash. Oh no! You're about to life, implode. Life, life expectancy zero, time to change the oil, etc. So this is a 2017 with the 3.2 liter V6. And it's got like what some might call a European style filter. So we'll show you why when we pop the hood and take a look. Ooh, it's exotic. Yeah, it's exotic. It's from another land. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Let's pop the hood on this baby. So the this is always the one part. right here in the middle and the whole grill comes up. Oh, right there. Uh huh. And so. So I, I OK, so when I first look at this, I don't know about you, but when I first look at this, I go, that doesn't look very easy. It looks like it's completely all covered. Yeah, we don't like looking at engines anymore. For some reason, we put covers over them, and I'm not really sure why. Yeah. Uh, one way to access where the oil filter is is actually through this little cap. Oh, that's there's, very convenient. There's a just a weird twist off, right? housing yeah. thing. Yeah, this is just it, it turns a little tiny bit. Yeah, what the heck is that thing? That you is the light? oil filter housing. Oh, I do. Let's let's shed some light on the subject here, shall we? So that right there uses a 19. No, 24 millimeter or 15 16 socket. And that's all plastic? And it's plastic, yes. So we'll we'll show mm. taking that off. You know, one way is just to take this off and you know reach down through there, is which I, is how I usually do it. But for today, for the viewers, we're uh, going to remove the whole lid. The that whole, is, the whole that engine is cover. pretty nice, just so you can see it better. So normally, so. I just want to be clear. So normally, if you were changing, that's all you have to. That's do? all you have to do is to to get to that. But for better viewing, yeah, so we can see it. Whatever, better viewing. We're remove this whole thing. So you grab it and firmly pull up. Pull up. No. And so you see, there's these four grommets that go on these whoop, four ball thingies. There, 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 and there. So they just fit in there and obviously, you know, the rubber holds tight. One of the hardest parts about removing any kind of trim is not knowing how it attaches and you're pulling, you're like, is it gonna break or not? So I love when people show, here's how this attaches and here's how to pull. And then you don't, then you can more, I mean, I wouldn't say you're hundred percent confident cause it still feels like you might break it, but far more confident, you know, when you're just popping it up. You might notice it looks like a slightly different day. In fact, that's the case. So we're gonna show you how to make this even easier and tie in review to this device right here. What, pray tell, is this device right here? Well, that is the device you use when for some reason it's impossible to get the drain plug out for some reason. I don't know who put it on there with a <laughs> massive, cheater bar but it is on there so we're going to deal with that a different day and so this is an opportunity to try this out what even is this and what are you even doing <laughs> it's an oil suckerizer it an probably oil sucker. that's it. it probably has a better that's the official name. term no it's that's it that's it it's now a fluid suckerizer it's, it doesn't have to be oil okay it's manual slash pneumatic fuel extractor you can turn that around if you want yeah there's where it is if it's worth it darn we'll get you to post a link to it or something so that you can find it if, if in fact you won't we don't know we're trying this for the first time so what is, what is the instructions you've obviously plugged some hoses in and yeah. there was there's more than one of these right yeah these. there's multiple colors i figure black for oil clear for oh clear, so it's just blue a, for water just i don't a, know probably doesn't really matter but but they just provide you different ones yeah yeah i think i think that works I think I think this Whatever. black one for oil. It's, and, then, and then there's an adapter for uh, bleeding your brakes. And Whoa. Put suction on your brakes. Really? Did you watch the other video when we tried to use that little piece of junk on the Raptor that did nothing? Well, I think that's because your Raptor brake lines were garbage. Garbage. <laughs> they were. We had to change them out. That's what the whole problem was. We thought it was a major issue, but it turned out to be the a flap on the inside of the brake lines that closed and created like a check valve. It was ridiculous. Poor but garbage. this is still much bigger. Maybe it would have worked. Okay, so back to the task at hand. So what do you, how do you use this? Baby? So there's two ways that it can function. You can actually hook it to a pneumatic air hose, like air compressor, and just let it do its thing which I normally would do, but I'm not in the mood at the moment. Plus we get to play with this. It actually has a 
Ooh. A pumper sucker, yeah, whatever. Well, we gotta know if it works on its own, but that's kind of cool. It's dual purpose or dual. It's not dual purpose, it's dual. Well, it is dual purpose, but dual functionality where you can use air or the hand pump, I think. That's what, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> where did this, who, who wrote these? In what language did you not get a translator? You used Google Translate, didn't you? This must be what happened. Google's gonna ban us now. Probably. So the idea of this is to be able to go down through the dipstick tube. Oh, it's the dipstick tube? I guess that makes sense. So where well, else would you put it? We could put it down in, through there. That's what I was thinking, but but I mean, I guess the thin one, that one, that's probably what they made it for. Ooh, this is exciting though. I don't know if we, we don't, I don't know if we have the, the knobs <laughs> all pushed right. <laughs> is it in suction mode or? It doesn't, oh, here we go, oh, look, oil, oh, oil. Holy smokes, that, look at that. Oil. We hit oil, man. Black gold, we, Texas tea. <laughs> Texas tea, Texas tea. Am I gonna we're get, rich. Am I gonna get sued now? Yeah, is that copyrighted? Well, it's is from it? a song. Oh, is it? Beverly Hillbillies theme song. Oh, that's true. I, that's true. Now, you were just referencing, though, to all the Texans. Don't know you Texans call it Texas tea, I would imagine. I don't know. People from Texas watch it? I bet there's somebody from Texas who's watched us at least once. <laughs> I mean, look at us filling up. Each one of those ribs is like a liter, I believe. So that is filling up rather quickly then. I mean, that's pumping up. That should make that. You were worried I was gonna leave that down there and make you watch that the whole time, weren't you? Yes. I know it. Instead, you get to see us. <laughs> this is much better. Man, I should have gotten the air compressor pumped, air compressor pumped up. To see? Oh, is it wearing your arm out? Is it very, is there very much pressure on against that? Not really, I'm but it also it comes up. On it comes up because it's got. Oh, it's like there's pressure only at yeah. the bottom. Like I think in like, the instructions it says, you know, you can just let it sit for a while and it'll keep sucking until it either runs out of stuff to suck. Oh, like oh, like it's it just runs out of suction. Wait, so if we don't do anything right now, is it? It is still going. So well, holy smokes, that changes everything. That means you just pump it up, and then you let it go. Walk you don't away. have to keep pumping it. Wow. So don't forget it. <laughs> Can I say that? Or no. Sued? Ron and Popo. Ro not... Ron Popo will sue me. Yes. No. No, sadly. Sadly not. Okay, so it's still going. We're up to four liters now, it looks like, from my angle. This is, uh, that, I don't know, that to me makes a big difference. If you just have to pump it up and you can truly set it and forget it. It's also, I mean, it kind of contains oil as you go. So I would say that's a bonus on this thing. Yeah, I'd say you, you, you definitely pull this out and pour it. It's like a really? pour nozzle too when you're done. Oh, do right. you hear? Do you hear the bubbles? Oh. Hear the bubbles? Can you hear it? Yeah. I'm helping. It's like at the dentist office when they stick that suction thing in your mouth. Is that thing terrible? I don't know. My wife was at the dentist earlier. You can ask her. You know how people have like nails on chalkboard? The sucking sound for me. Oh, that's it for me. Really? Oh, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, so I guess that's a good question is how drippy is that going to be in the end? But he just put a rag there. Okay. Well, I think this dang, is supposed man. to be a storage Does thing. Does it go back down in there? Does it go inside? So you wouldn't want to do that. If you were, you wouldn't want to store all your tubes in there if they just go down. So unless there's a tube inside of there a tube. There must be a tube inside of there. I because don't know. that would be ridiculous. There better be a tube for each there, one. There of has these. to be, otherwise there wouldn't be a. You'd lose suction if it went down into the liquid. That's true. That's true. Science, y'all. Science, yo. And then there's a hook, which Something. they had hooked. Some like here, they had. That's where they had the hook, which is doesn't Dumb. really work either. None of them work well. Anyway. Anyway, yes. Now we can move all of that oil. Wow. Super clean awesome. and they haven't, haven't gotten dirty. No. Well, we should talk about that. What did you think? I think that was like awesome, actually. Do you think that was awesome? That was nice. So we're saying that's worthy of posting because we don't ever post links and stuff unless it's actually cool. But I think that was really cool. So I'm making the call. We'll put the link in the description. Yeah, I got it from Amazon and everything. That's awesome. So here is the new filter. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the smell. I ain't smelling nothing. You know you anymore. want to smell it. I'm smelling it. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> That is so strong. It smells horrible. It's it's really quite bad. So now we need to get this O ring. It's too slippery. Off of there. The so, O ring doesn't stay? Well it comes with a new one. Oh it does? You just need to pay attention to where this is hooked or where which groove this goes into. And you walk the old O-ring out. So, throw it, away. it is getting a little dark. What ring was it? Well, it's just the wide groove here. Oh, okay. All right, okay, cool. Is this sort of a flat one? Or this, this? No, it's round. Just it's right. round. Like I said, the new. Ah, uh, there it is. Comes with one. The beauty of that is actually pretty cool. I don't want to get oil in my last car. No, don't do that. This is all nice. Look, it's all pretty in here. So now that I have some oil on my fingers, I'm just going to lube it up a little bit so it slides on easily. And so when you're screwing that in, it doesn't bind. Mm. Okay, sure, that makes sense. Well, gonna get oil on it anyway. Well, no. But, you just, <laughs> you just simply flip it back into your face. <laughs> it's, that, it's that simple. <laughs> you just roll it down and make sure it's on there. And then, I also want to get a little oil on this O-ring too. And for the same reason, just so it pops in easier. Yeah, just so it goes in down in there easier. And then this actually clicks in there. Really? So it's like held into this thing. And it's, Except huh. the old one isn't. But that's, I was just draining everything. Yeah, it's nice to just, well, that that's, that's definitely dirty. Well, oh, I've got I've seen much worse. stuff. You oh, sorry, it? sorry, sorry. Yeah, look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Can you see it? Is it? Do we need to get yeah. more in the light? No, that's actually like dramatic. Mm -hmm. I'd say that's noticeable. So then, you don't want to wipe the oil off the O-ring, but you want to slide this down in here and start it by hand. Start. Oh, just the threads. The big, yeah. The, <laughs> big, like, the big plastic. And part. you're gonna to want to start your car by hand. The first time <laughs> when you get out the crank. Oh, well, I thought we were pulling it like. Oh, a, pulling. Oh, I thought I was cranking like a tractor. We this had this. A, this is modern. We too. had a tractor at the a farm when I grew up, and you had to crank that thing, and nobody wanted to do it because it would backfire and rip your shoulders and arms off and fling them across the, the whole field. And I'm not exaggerating either. Right oh yeah, rip them off and throw them, throw them across the cow field. It was that bad? That sucker was horrible. That doesn't sound Except, at all. I wish I still had it because it'd be pretty cool, right? I mean, I could but, see it breaking your arm, but oh no, it ripped them off. Mm -hmm. I had to have them reattached all the time. So, <laughs> I we, thought that was funny. It was true. It's a true story. As we discussed before, okay. you have to be really careful with that plastic doohickey to make sure that you don't. It's just plastic threads. Yeah, it's just plastic threads, and a lot of people ruin it, and then they crack it, and then it caught. And they don't crack the, the cap, they crack the thing they're plug, they're screwing it into. Oh. Which, which is even very worse. Very expensive to replace. Yeah, because if you just cracked, now nah, you buy a new one of those. But the intake manifold wow! And everything else to get that Holy thing. smokes! Don't do that. So, pro tip: safe to third. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going any tighter than that. That's plenty. It's That's barely, plenty. barely, barely feeling like anything, but I don't want to crack that because literally you have to take off the intake manifold. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We insert. The old funnel fill. Mm -hmm. it's like it's going <laughs> That's what it looks like if it was a voice. If that funnel had a, if that funnel could talk. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's kind of funny. I look. If I only make myself laugh, it's worth it. Uh, We're cool. burning in darkness. We are burning daylight. Just I, just, I just like to like you know. Yeah, we don't waste any oil. Get my money's worth. Mm -hmm. And then I use these bottles for refilling and recycling. One thing of note on this is it, when you first showed this, that thing looked giant. It looked like it was like way bigger than you need to. But I'm going to say it's not. I mean, that is definitely like, not. You know, a gallon and a half of oil. Is that enough to do like a truck V8? Depending on the truck. Uh, it wouldn't do like a Cummins or you know other diesels. Something like that. Would do the but Raptor. It would do the Raptor, I think. 
Got to get one big enough for that. That's another win. That thing is slick. And here we are in the dark vehicle for another important part, which is resetting the oil change indicator. And how you do that? There are two ways. We're going to kind of show you how to do it both ways, but we'll only really do it once. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll really, it's good to know. So on the on the cars with the push button start, you push it twice with your foot not on the brake. So dark and oh, Ooh. is that Jeep or is that? Oh no! Ooh. Oh no! More sounds. That sound is probably that fan sound is probably copyrighted by Jeep. Probably. So now it's in uh, run mode, but since I didn't have my foot on the brake, it didn't start. Okay, cool. So it's the same as putting a key in and turning it two notches but not beyond that for the, you know, start type mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm. So now it's running, but not running. And then over here, we've got buttons that I can push that we can't see anymore. Can't see. So Cars anyway, nervous now we can see some of these buttons. Yeah. And you go down. Down. Until you get to the thing that's telling you the vehicle info. Okay, that's And cool. you may or may not see the oil life, but you use the left and right arrows here to get to the one that says oil life. And if you're lucky like us, it is angry and red. Oh, and it says, "Wow, it's like that is angry." It's a zero percent change now. Holy smokes, that is like upset. So one way you can do it is you then when you're here, with it not actually running, mm -hmm. you push the OK button and you hold it in. Okay. And you hold it in until it says 100 percent. You're happy now. Everything's good. Or the other way is on the floor, the gas pedal itself. Mm -hmm. You can see my gas pedal down there. Hey, you can. And I press it in three times, all the way, kind of slowly. One, One two. Looks like you're pumping it for the carburetor. Three. And pow! What? 100% oil life left. It's happy, happy. Wow, that's very different ways to do it. That's kind of kind of interesting. Now you know the secret. Now you know the secret. Don't tell anyone. Shh. <laughs> So, if you enjoy the darkness and working outside in your vehicles, give it a thumbs up. And look around, we got some other cool stuff. We got a big project of that Jeep over there. We got stuff on that truck over there if you like Dodges. If you like Raptors, we got one there. We got all kinds of stuff. Have yourself a great rest of the day or evening. We're gonna take you out to fist bump a friendship that you can't even see. Whoa, pow! We love you. That's how much. Make sure it's uh, right and tight. Boom! Oh, I broke it. Throw cut it away. Cut that out, cut that out. Oh, Throw the whole Jeep away. The whole thing's ruined now. Life. It's reset, oil, whatever. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure out better words. Maybe, maybe, or I'll just screw it up like that and we'll go. <clears throat> We're going to start a group, as Dr. Tork said. <laughs> Not for we. No, he's going to join too. No. Yeah, Not for people fine. who can't stand sucking sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but you do, you, but you're, we could start a whole war. We're not going to do that. Gonna, I was going to say, but you're afraid of the dentist drill. I'm not afraid of the dentist drill. I'm saying that's what people usually complain about for a sound at the dentist. Yeah. Is the sound of the drill, not the sound of the suction. I know, but. Would you rather go back to them handing you a little cup and you swish around and you spit it in the little sink? And they still do that. What? They still do that. Said, so why is our dentist is he just spit in a cup? And then you hand him the cup. <laughs> and then they, Not and my they, dentist. They, ugh, they I, hand me the sucker and I oh, clean it all out myself. Nope, nope, we're done. <laughs> we're done. Moving on. We're canceling this group. <clears throat> all right, quite unsaid, everyone. <laughs> that never works. <laughs>